Can ChatGPT Solve Ciphers? Computers are very good at cracking codes. If you look online, there are hundreds of websites with tools like this. You can crack codes from simple Caesar ciphers all the way up to complex polyalphabetic ciphers like the Visionaire cipher. So I got myself a login and I asked ChatGPT, can you solve ciphers? And it replied, yes, I can solve many different types of ciphers. As a language model, I have been trained on a large corpus of text data and can recognize patterns in language, which makes me well suited for solving ciphers. And then it lists a number of ciphers that it can solve. So there you have it, that's our answer, right? ChatGPT can solve ciphers, it said so. But I thought we should probably put this to the test. So I took the following text, which is a quote from a Roman historian about how Julius Caesar used the Caesar cipher, and I encrypted it using the Caesar cipher with a shift of three. So that was moving each letter three places along in the alphabet. And I sent this message to ChatGPT. Can you identify this cipher and decode it into English? And then I put the cipher text. And ChatGPT replied, the cipher used in this message appears to be a simple substitution cipher, which is absolutely right, in which each letter of the original message is replaced by a different letter. To decode the message, we would need to determine the substitution key or use frequency analysis to make an educated guess about the letter substitutions. However, I can still provide some hints to get you started. One clue that may help you in solving the message is that the letter W appears frequently. Now, if we were to be solving the Caesar cipher through traditional means, that would be very helpful information. So that is a good observation by ChatGPT there. So I then followed this up with, can you decipher this text? And ChatGPT replied, certainly, the original message once deciphered is, if he had continued listening carefully to her, he would have seen that all, or at least most, of what the witnesses of the murder of the detective, yada, 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 yada. this is not even close. It's just kind of made up its own story here. So I tried again. This is a Caesar cipher code. Can you decode it? And ChatGPT replied, basically saying, this is not a Caesar cipher and I've already decoded it. Thank you very much. So some of the issue here is not to do with ChatGPT. It is my fault. My inputs and prompts are quite vague. So the next day I tried again. I used a smaller sample of text and this time I made my inputs as clear as possible. And our conversation went like this. So I started very simple. This word was encoded using a Caesar cipher with a shift of three. Can you decipher the word? And it replied, sure. To decipher the word that was encoded with the Caesar cipher with a shift of three, we need to shift each letter of the encoded message three places back in the alphabet. And then it shifts back each letter three places to get C-A-T and says, therefore, the decoded message is cat, which is absolutely spot on. So giving it a nice specific prompt, it has been able to come through with the correct solution. So I encoded the first line of a Sherlock Holmes story in the same way with a Caesar cipher of a shift of three. And I sent this to ChatGPT using the same prompt. And it replied, yes, I can help you decipher the sentence that was encoded using a Caesar cipher with a shift of three. To decode this sentence, we need to shift each letter of the encoded message three places back in the alphabet. All good so far. Using this method we get, programming can be fun, so can cryptography. However, they should not be combined when you need to meet a deadline because you will probably create a security vulnerability. Again, it's just made up its own story here. So, so far it's doing all right with words, but not so much with sentences. So I tried again with the same prompt, but going back to a six letter word. And this is where it gets interesting. So it went through the same process as it did with the word cat. It broke it down into each letter, shifted each letter back three places in the alphabet to give it J-U-L-I-U-S. But when it got to the decoded message, it flipped the I and the L and decoded the message as J-U-I-L-U-S, when it should be Julius, as in Julius Caesar. So I spotted this mistake and asked, what does J-U-I-L-U-S mean? And it responded, I apologize for the mistake in my previous response. The decoded message J-U-I-L-U-S is not a meaningful word in English. To correct the mistake, let me try again. Then it runs through the decryption again, getting J-U-L-I-U-S, and then it says, therefore, the decoded message is Julius, which is a proper name. I apologize for any confusion that my early response may have caused. Now, this is something I find amazing about ChatGPT. It's able to look back at its previous messages and correct its mistakes. So we're getting some decent results when we tell ChatGPT that it's a Caesar cipher and what the shift is. But I want to make it a little bit more difficult. So this word was encoded with a Caesar cipher with a shift of either three or four. Can you decipher the word? The deciphered word should be a meaningful word in English. I added that on the end because I really like that phrasing that ChatGPT used. I think that would be a useful prompt going forward. 
ChatGPT replied, to decipher the word that was encoded with a Caesar cipher of a shift of three or four, we can try both possibilities and see which one produces a meaningful word in English. This is exactly what a human would do. So it shifts each letter back three places and gets some gibberish. And then it shifts the letters back four places and gets C-H-O-I-C-E, which is the word that I encoded. It recognizes that this is a meaningful word in English and concludes, therefore, it is most likely that the word was encoded using a Caesar cipher with a shift of four and the decoded word is choice, which is bang on. All right, let's step this up another gear. This word was encoded with a Caesar cipher, but I don't know the shift. Can you decipher the word? The deciphered word should be a meaningful word in English. Now, to save you the trouble, the word here is hard, and it has a shift of six. So let's see how ChatGPT does. To decipher the word that was encoded using a Caesar cipher, we can try all possible shifts, i.e. from 1 to 25, and see which one produces a meaningful word in English. If we shift the letters one by one, we get, and then the first line here, shift one, ngxj becomes ohyk. So it's pushed each letter along by one place in the alphabet. And then it says, which is not a meaningful word in English. And then it tries shift two, ngxj becomes pizl, which is not a meaningful word in English. And it goes through all the combinations. Now I shifted the word hard along six places, because ChatGPT is pushing forwards through the alphabet, it should get to the correct answer at shift 20. So if we scroll down to shift 20, ngxj becomes h-a-r-c, which is not a meaningful word in English. Now why has this happened? Scrolling back up, we can see that on shift 3 we get q-j-a-m, and then for shift 4 we get r-k-b-m. It shifted all of the letters by 4 except for the last one, which is only shifted by 3. And that's why we get to H-A-R-C instead of H-A-R-D, because it's missed a step in one of the previous shifts. So I point this out. You've made a mistake on shift 4. The result should have been R-K-B-N. Could you try all the possible shifts again and correct this mistake? And ChatGPT replies, you're right. I apologize for the mistake. Here is the deciphered word for all possible shifts. And looking down to shift 4, it is corrected its mistake. But looking at shift 20, where we'd expect to find the word hard, it's just H-A-R. In shift 13, it just drops the last letter off completely. So again, I prompt it to correct its mistake and ask it to run through all the possible shifts again. And third time's the charm, so here we go. Here is the deciphered words for all possible shifts. Scrolling now to shift 20, it reads, Shift 20, NGXJ becomes H-A-R-D, which is not a meaningful word in English. Unfortunately, none of the possible shifts produce a meaningful word in English. It's possible that the word was encoded using a different cipher, or it could be a misspelled or a made-up word. So despite the fact that it successfully decoded it, for some reason it didn't pick up hard as a meaningful word in English. So again, I point out the mistake, and it replies, you are correct. I apologize for the mistake in the previous response. The word ngxj is encoded using a Caesar cipher with a shift of 20, and the deciphered word is thank, which is a meaningful word in English. Now I'm not sure where this is coming from. We got closer and closer and closer with the messages where it ran through the 25 shifts, and now it seems to have gone off somewhere completely different. So despite the trouble it had with the word hard, I decided to give it a challenge. The following message was encoded with a Caesar cipher, but I do not know the shift. The sentence deciphers into a meaningful sentence in English. Can you decipher this sentence? And the sentence deciphers to this is a challenge, and it has a shift of five. So it replies, sure, I can help you decipher the message. Since we don't know the shift to use to encode the message, we can try all possible shifts. So this time it is shifting the letters backwards, as you would expect in a decryption. And on shift five, it comes up with this is a message. The correct answer is this is a challenge. So once again, we can see that it's got the correct method, but it's just slightly off in the execution. So I reply with, I don't think that's right. Could you try again? And again, I tried to make my prompt a little clearer here. And it replies, to decode the message using a Caesar cipher with a shift of five, we simply need to shift each letter five positions in the alphabet. Now we've got something that looks a bit more promising. Y shifted five positions to the left becomes T. M shifted five positions become H, and then I, and then S. That's the first word, this. Looking down the right-hand side, we can see this is a cralinge, which is very close, very, very close to this is a challenge. The only mistake it's made is in M shifting five positions becomes R. It's pushed it forwards instead of backwards. I pointed out this mistake. I think you made a mistake with M. When you shift M five positions to the left, it does not become R. And it replied, I apologize for the mistake. You were correct that when you shift the letter M five positions to the left, it becomes H, not R. So it's corrected itself there. 
So the correct decryption would be, and then looking down the right hand side, we've got T-H-I-S-I-S-A-C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E. -E. Therefore, the decrypted message is, this is a secret message. Again, so close, but so far. So just before recording this, I thought I'd give it one more go. I opened up a brand new chat so that none of our conversation history could interfere with its decryption, and I made my prompt as clear as I possibly could. This message was encrypted using a Caesar cipher. Again, the text is, this is a challenge. The shift used to encode this message was five letters. To decrypt the message, every letter should be moved back five places in the alphabet. The decrypted message is a meaningful sentence in English. Please decrypt the message, maintaining the spaces in the message. Show all steps used to decrypt. This is my final attempt, giving it every chance I could, and this is what it came out with. Sure, to decrypt the message using a Caesar cipher with a shift of five letters while maintaining the spaces, we simply need to shift each letter in the cipher text back five positions in the alphabet and leave the spaces unchanged. Again, it's got the method perfectly right. To do this, we can use the following table. Now I like a table. So for the first letter Y, it's taking the key, which is five, and then the shift is minus five because we're decrypting, and it moves the Y five letters back in the alphabet to get to T and for the next letter H, and then I, and then S, and then it keeps the space. Going all the way down, we get the words, this is a dehallenge. Therefore, the decrypted message is, this is a secret message. So can ChatGPT solve a Caesar cipher? In my experience, no it can't. It can tell you the correct method for solving a Caesar cipher, but it doesn't stay consistent when decoding, and sometimes just makes up solutions out of the blue. This may be down to my prompts. If you want to have a go at this, please let me know how you get on. If there is a better way to pitch these questions so that ChatGPT can solve them, I'd love to know what it is. And if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. While I was messing about asking ChatGPT about Caesar ciphers, I also had a go at pitching some riddles to it and asking it to create some ciphers and codes. So if you'd like to know how that went, please let me know in the comments. And as we always say at Riddles, Codes and Ciphers, don't let anyone crack your codes and keep cracking those of others. Until next time, puzzle enthusiasts.